before the Chelsea match, Keegan pushed physio Derek Wright into the limelight to collect his Carling Manager of the Month award for the spectacular August start. For the game itself, he was forced to call up Mike Hooper to replace Cernicek, who was suspended. John Burridge, Newcastle's first choice keeper under Jim Smith, was substitute at the age of 42. But it was United's young number nine who ran rings round Chelsea's pensioners. Spackman trying to get it away. There's Beresford and there's Cole. And Cole's away. And that is lethal finishing from Andy Cole. Kareem can just look and wonder. What a brilliant goal again. Beresford's ball forward. Cole, look at that touch. But look at that finish. Spackman, forward for Spencer and Wise, and it's in now, and it's Peacock, Gavin Peacock against his old club. Watson, now Fox, Watson still available, and he gets it, room for the cross, Cole's there, it's the whistle, and it's a penalty, penalty, Pushing on Andy Cole, and that ball came in from Watson with plenty of height on it, and there's the shove, right in the back by Clark on Cole. Lee with the penalty, he saved it, Fox, and Fox does leave a favour, Royal Fox so quick to react there, tough on the keeper, Lee's penalty was a good save, but Fox was following in. Spencer challenging there with Peacock and getting the ball in for Furlong. And it's 2-2 now, Furlong this time. Hooper beaten. Fox through the middle. Beresford moving up on the outside, Beresford in a good position there, into the middle and Lee, squeezed in there, Newcastle back ahead and it's five in five games now for Robert Lee, a little touch on there and squeezed into that near post. Here come Newcastle yet again, what a tremendous game this has been, Cole through for Lee now, Lee again and back for Cole, and it's 4-2 now, six in five games for Andy Cole. They're having their own private competition. Cole in full flight, changing direction. Lee giving his balance a little touch and the finish perfect.